Loki was like, where the fuck is that coming from? <laughs> <laughs> Where's what? Oh my god, the new OBS update makes a little red dot on the start bar icon. So now I can just look down and see if there's an issue. Hopefully that will help. This oh, is a surprise to tool to help us later. But but you ruined the surprise. This is a surprise tool to help us later. Uh, boom! You're all here now. Uh, I'm gonna go get some water. Uh, Ed, you want to do the recap? Actually, no. No. Whoever wants to do the recap, do the recap. But one of you must do the recap. So vote amongst yourselves. Shay, you have a good understanding of what's important. Give us that recap. <laughs> I have a better idea. What if we don't recap and say we did? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And that's what happened. Right, you guys? Whoa, that was amazing. Thank you. You should DM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that was amazing. You should DM, Jade. What? No. Mm-hmm. I can't do. Very good. No. I wonder if we hit record. It'd be really funny. Yeah. Oh, thanks guys for doing that recap. Yeah, yeah no problem. Yeah. You know, Shay, Shay told the story, like, honestly, if I wasn't there, I wouldn't have believed how amazing it was. How immaculately yeah. it was. You know, I tried my best, and it means a lot that you phrase it like that. Like, man, yeah. I appreciate See, it. See, I knew you guys wouldn't make me take it out on your collective companions and pets. Of course. That'd just be a douche move. We all know you're not that. Exactly. <laughs> so, I don't need to do a recap, right? No. Right. We all know what happened. Yeah. Weapons, murder... Oh, good. Why don't you remind me what happened? I'm a little fucked. Something about a stick. Yeah. Um, <laughs> inmate Buffins, Zanzibar played fetch, Denson's dying, and apparently so is Yawa. No. Party's a mess, but we always are. We're great. Alright, so you heard it here, folks. That beautiful recap. Summarizing everything. Um, yep. Oh yeah, that's right. They wouldn't even know what the proper recap is because the last ten minutes of the recording doesn't exist. <laughs> Whoa! So yeah, Shala was hunting things and being productive. Last we left off, she found a Tabaxa track. Yala, you're in the snow wilds. There's a big old Tabuxa footprint. What you doing? What the uh, hell are you doing? Am I... Am I close enough still to the, like, village main that it's a concern that this thing is here? Uh, I would say you're about 20 to 30 minutes away from the village by walking. Hmm. But at the same time, there's animals everywhere, so no. If I don't think it's a threat. 
A threat to the village? No. A threat to your personal well-being? Possibly. No. Nah. Not even a little. Uh, is it just like one set of tracks? Uh, roll me that track tracking track Survival. skill. Yeah, whatever the thing is that you throw the click clack rock in order to figure out how good you hunt. Oops. <laughs> you guys don't get to know. Click hint and clack hint. <laughs> I don't know why my thing was set to private roll, but there you go. I see a big funny number. Oh, at least not a small funny number. Yeah. <laughs> you see the first track, and you see the second track. What it looks to be is the trail of a full-grown tabuxo. You do not cool. see additional tracks on this trail. Alright. But as you know, that never means that there's never something else out there. Oh, hey, y'all. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Samson just polymorphed into a tabux. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Yala, I'm a cat oh, again. Really, I'm holy. Yala's like, wow, Boris was right. I'm totally nuts. She goes back to the village, and Boris is just polymorphed into an axe beak. A tiny little axe beak. Oh, this is weird. Yala! Ha! <laughs> Feathery throat! Ha! Squawk! Squawk! So, what y'all are doing? Uh, I guess go back. Shall I go back? Yeah. Shall I go back? Back to village? Yeah. Very well. After about a half hour of walking, y'all end up back village gosh it would be nice if I could pan so yeah are more people up now um yeah a few also um, y'all are on, swap? you're all are on the same day, right? No. Yeah? No. Uh, well, technically? Yeah, because y'all went to sleep. We went to sleep. We have not done anything this day. Yeah, okay, but you are on the same day. There's no time catch-up that has to be done. Uh, we have to wake up, but that's not important. Why did I get heated? Because I finally figured out how to rotate tokens. Oh. Um. You hold shift and then you press WASD. Whoa. <laughs> you spin me, right? <laughs> like a record, baby. And I'm watching this and all I could think of is when TJ was doing the weapon poses. Yeah. You found that really funny. Mm. But yeah, is there... there's, there's a few people starting to do morning stuff. Uh, Boris is now almost completely covered in snow. Rip. His pockets oh. are now unsceptable. Is there a place to put these dead animals she's carrying? Uh, yeah, you could put them on the rack by the fire. This thing? Yeah. Cool. She uh hangs everything up to dry. Or whatever it does. Everything up to freeze. Uh you should draw a circle or something. What? You do it what is that? Yeah. Big piece of meat.
<laughs> Why are you like this? <laughs> How do you expect me to survive watching you do these things? I don't know, man. Just look. Uh, that's... that's the neat part. You don't. Uh -huh. But yeah, you put your catches on the rack. Yeah. Put the catches on the rack. <laughs> what is it like? The three axe beaks and a boar thing? Uh, yes. Boar thing shall now be formally known by the name I came up with, which was. Boar thing. <laughs> Borligula. <laughs> Borligula. A porcus. Porcus. <laughs> it's called pork. Yeah. It's called us. Sussus porcusus. <laughs> so what the hell are doing now that she is hung the poof? Um. <laughs> Uh, she's mostly just waiting for uh, Mother to wake up so that they can have their discussion and call the all the members who need to have this discussion. Shall is just gonna brave her mother and the elders alone? Yeah! Uh, what's the alternative? <laughs> With some sort of big silly friend. Ah, yeah. I mean, he is right there. You're not big. But he's <laughs> but he's asleep under a bunch of snow. Like a weirdo. That's something that whacking him with a stick can fix. Are you gonna whack the snow with a stick? Yeah. Cool. It deserves it. The excuse you can use. I was getting the snow off. Yeah, actually, uh, Hell is just gonna like train with weapons. How early in the day is it, Timekeeper? How the fuck should I know? <laughs> Doesn't Kelly usually wake up at like 5 or 6? Yeah, yeah, I guess it, it, it'd be past 6, but I don't know how long she was hunting for. Well, so it was... Well, at least over an hour since it was like a 30 minute walk. Well, no, because she, she wouldn't walk. have gone out until like 8. Her workout is two hours. Yeah, so two hours to eight, which was mentioned last session. A half hour walk back to camp, so a half hour walk away from camp. So then it would be nine. And no Ooh. one's awake plus, yet, man! Plus all the stuff that she did well from walking to walking. Walking. I don't know, did you walk out and hunt? And it is a out? time between 9 and 10. Yeah. But yeah, Hyal is just gonna go into some clearingy area and flail her sword around. <laughs> flail her arms? <laughs> no, her sword. That's why I said sword. Oh. Uh, you cut out, so like... I just heard flag. Oh yeah, I she went for a little Imagine it making like a sound that like a fucking saw makes when you wiggle it. Yeah. Like yeah, if there's like training dummies set up or something, she's just like whacking the shit out of them. Ah, uh, she's just making the saw wiggling sound. So it's the autumn. The autumn. What the hell was it called? Perum for it. Kial is on the bandstand. Ah, uh, she's well on her way to becoming a high guardian. Wow. Yeah. She's just doing some training stuff until mom wakes up or comes out. Or is like, hey, didn't you say you needed to talk about a thing? And what do you know? Mom comes out. Wow, who would have guessed? With baby! Wow. Throw the child back inside. <laughs> Just let Kuno off to explore or hang out with somebody. Yeah. 
Yeah, she's got Kuno strapped in a little baby backpack. Kuno is now a backpack. Carrying oh. capacity, Kuno. Contents, the front facing backpack Kuno. or the one that like the baby's behind them? Baby is behind. She is a backpack. Peeking over shoulder. <laughs> what the hell do? Uh, she looks over and just is like, she, uh, I don't think I've actually made a word for it, but she says good morning in old language. <gasps> Whatever their morning greeting is, she does that. <laughs> is, is, is it one of those languages where good morning is also like 18 different things based on the context? Oh, hi -oh. Good morning, if it's actually a good morning, fellow morning person, if it's a decent morning. Oh, hiyo gozaimasu. Now you gotta get oh, the old language. You gotta get the old language guttural stuff in here. Oh, I agree. Bone lecture. <laughs> Bone lecture, <laughs> mother. Bone Fletcher, mother. Bone Fletcher, Yala. Sounds like you're about to vomit. Food. <laughs> but yeah, Kuno has already got a snack in her mouth. Chewing over Jadia's shoulder. And Kiala says good morning. Yeah. And Jadia says back. I see you went out hunting. Yeah. Nobody seemed to be awake yet. Well, it is getting to the later months. Winter's harsher. Doesn't hurt to take a little bit of rest. Who knows when we'll be called to our next great battle. Uh, and then he'll just gonna be like, I take it you're aware there's a Tabuxa out hunting on the north side of the village? How close? Uh, so I don't know what <laughs> measurement system they use, but I'm just gonna say it in, you know, metric, or non-metric, standard measurements, and I she probably s out. Yeah, she says something like that. Oh. How do you measure time in metric? <laughs> Carefully. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I was aware. Though it does sound like it got closer. Last I checked, it was a mother. Our scouts mm. reported that it made a den nearby. I'm assuming that she found a bigger den for her litter. No sense in hunting small tabaxa or mothers, am I right? No, specifically the mothers. Kill <laughs> <Ew>, my baby. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's wrong with hunting the mothers? Like, I get not fighting the young, but... Yeah, it's not like... that's Is that their main food source? Because then it'll make a bit of sense. But no, but then uh... it sounds like there'd be no males. You gotta hunt both equally. Oh, <laughs> uh, this is equal opportunity murder? Well, you wouldn't yeah. hunt the mother if you knew it was with kids. Because mm. yeah, then you just kill off the entire offspring, which was yeah, the point. She's just like... And you might as well kill the, off the entire offspring. Yeah. <laughs> Baby murder. <laughs> there was only one set of tracks. And she just kind of shrugs with that. I imagine so. She gave 
gave birth recently, so they probably aren't old enough to leave the den yet. I'm a little surprised that you didn't think of that. Perhaps you well, spent too long outside. <laughs> Not at all, I just figured... Well, on our way here, Boris and I spotted one that had its kids out with it already. I guess this one's children have been less well-trained. Hmm. Perhaps. Speaking of untrained children, so I met this <laughs> cowboy. <laughs> so we went to this island. Speaking of untrained children, and she just lifts Kuno off her back, at what point would you say that she should get trained? After all, you are going to be our future leader. These are things you are responsible for determining. Kill is just like, the standard age of three seems fine. Hmm. Noted. And she kind of places Kuno down in the snow. And Kuno just looks up at her. Starts tilting Chins aside and then falls on her back in the snow. Starts giggling and being all playful. She sure is lively, isn't she? Disgusting. Kidding. <laughs> Indeed. And Hela goes over and, like, kneels down next to her and boops her nose. You get. Kitty attacked. Ah! Her little tiny paws grab around your arms. You can feel the tiny claws gripping through your fur. You Should have now been it? you have been <laughs> grappled by Kuno. Tragic. Surprise attack. Roll initiative. Woo! Kuno slipped Yala's throat. <laughs> Blood of a killer running deep Woo! in her veins. Yeah. Zanzibar's like, I like this one. I yeah. like this one! I, mean, I can buy this one off with simple treats! Shout uh, out to the simple flip! Instead of getting Hyala back, Nim and Samson just get a one-year-old, and they're just like, is that Hyala? Oh, yeah. baby! What a cute little destroyer! Who's going to rule the world one day? Who's going to rule the world one day? Ha! Yes, we will get you all the hats, the helmets, and, ca and caps of every single military man you will destroy. And she just points at Samson. Hat rule world! Samson, hey. give her your hat! Oh. No, Samson, give her your hat! But it's my hat. And she snatches it off Samson's head and puts <laughs> it on Kuno. Now you have hat. World? Yes, yes, the whole world is for you, you little dominator. Wow. And then Kuno vomits and goes to sleep. <laughs> but anyway, you've been surprise attacked by Kuno. Roll initiative. Yeah. Actually, roll initiative. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? <laughs> um. Uh. On the battle so there it is. Where is it? I don't see. I it. cannot. It's up at the top of the character sheet. I can't roll it because there's no thing active. Oh. Wait. Oh man, how... where is the turn order thing? <laughs> It says there's no combat encounter. So whatever says combat encounter. So yeah, you have to go to the second tab, the, the combat tracker, and I think you have to start a combat. Uh. So weird. And 
Thank God we didn't have to do this last week. <laughs> Our first initiative is moving to Foundry. It's now <laughs> being attacked by a snuggle child. Uh -huh. Um, how much damage does Tickle do? <laughs> it's like sneak attack, but non-lethal. <laughs> But there we go, I think. Round one. Oop. Fight. What? What is this? Why what? is this? Why is it a decimal? <laughs> what is <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There is a decimal in initiative? What is this? <laughs> This I have like no idea where that 0 0.2 is coming from. Also, I can't believe I rolled a 3 on initiative. I was about to say, if you lost an initiative to a child, that'd be the funniest fucking thing. Yeah. I mean, so she did- actual one on your own. She did an ambush attack, what do you mean? Of course I would have lower initiative. <laughs> and you're supposed to be leader? Yala's clearly letting her win. Yeah, that's you what they all that confidence in battle. How do I get initiative for Kuno? Where's the initiative button? Uh, does Kuno have a cheat? Yeah. Kuno stats? A basic non-filled out cheat. Wins. Kuno gets a 0 0.1. <laughs> Why? What does it mean? How did you what roll... Does it How did you roll... Initiative? Oh. You gave me her sheet. That is true. I was literally missing the <laughs> giant initiative box. Does <laughs> <laughs> initiative have that? I I don't know. The weirdest part is it's Wait not a minute. Can in you the do sheet. Me a favor? Yeah. Do me a favor, Zach. Yeah. Can you roll initiative for Boris? He just comes in like body slams them both. Okay, cause my, my guess is that it might be a size thing. Mm. For some reason. What if it's who rolls first? I don't no one see sense. initiative. I don't see an initiative box for Boris. What the hell is Rip. going on? <laughs> Yeah, there's actually no initiative box for Boris. I can't. Does it have the same layout as a character sheet? It should. It was a character sheet, just not finished. Well, then the initiative should be in the very top. Hit points, armor class, and movement. Rip. Oh. In fact, most of these NPCs don't seem to have initiative. D Does Foundry not give NPCs initiative? Uh, they should. You rolled it for Kuno. Yeah. Yeah, but I think Kuno she also special. actually has a character sheet. I really can't do much. Oh, oops, no. Well, let me try something.
great technical difficulties. Oh, oh my god, that's so fucking weird. So, you, you add things into the turn order by placing the token and then clicking that little sword and double, uh, double sword and shield. That turns on the combat state, which puts it in the combat tracker, and then there's a button to click that gives you the initiative. But the player character sheets have an initiative thing in their stat block. But it's weird because some sheets do and some sheets don't. Oh, let's check with the things that I know for a factor character sheets. Uh, Nim has an initiative. The hidden character has an initiative. Mr. Golem does not. You know, has okay. So apparently, the only difference between an NPC sheet and a character sheet is whether or not they actually have an initiative box and a few other minor changes. That's really weird. That's wacky. That is wacky. I have no idea why initiative is based on a decimal. <laughs> One thing at a time. We'll learn the system and it'll just get better. But like, oh god, that's going to take some time to getting used to. Anyway, where were we? Kuno has Tiala grappled by her Not arm. attack. Yeah. Kuno attacks first. She does kitten kick. She crawls up your arm and does kitten kicks into your hand. It does no damage. She still has her onesie on. You're just getting hook kicked. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh. <laughs> Damn. What'd you do? Nothing. Oh. Wait a minute. Kuno doesn't normally have a an initiative, right? Because NPC sheet? Well, no, she actually has a player sheet. Oh. For... I don't know. It might have been that when I literally made her, I just clicked player sheet because it literally didn't matter. I don't expect this one-year-old to need actual stats anytime <laughs> soon. Are you talking about clearly she's gonna learn power word kill? <laughs> wow, how'd you manage that? That's max damage! <laughs> I, the only thing I want to know... Oh. Oh. Because I have another theory. What's your theory? Is that it gives the decimals in case of a tie. Because technically player characters are supposed to be first. Well, let's find somebody that doesn't have a player character sheet. Uh... No hey, Mr. Golem's here. <laughs> ah. Look at that. Your friend, Mr. Golem. 
beats out Yao. No, the golem <laughs> still got a decimal, even though it's not a, a bigger big... decimal. Even no, though it's that, my decimal's bigger than yours. <laughs> Why would it go on to the hundredths place? Like the tens place is already ridiculous. Yeah, I have no idea why it happens like that. The boundary's whack, yo. Wiggity wiggity whack. But yeah, uh. Can you actually see the health display value, or is that just for me? What? The in the combat tracker, I can see the health value. You can't even see a combat tracker. Yeah, me neither. That's because it's in the next page. Oh, it's yeah, this next thing? to chat. It's a little fighting Pokemon symbol. Oh, weird. It says some numbers, but I don't know what those numbers are. Is that an initiative? Well, That's initiative is the decimal okay. number. Is there a number next to initiative to the left? Mm -mm. No. Then you well, guys... you can specifically click to end a turn. Enter, 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 enter. Cool. Yeah, you're just ha! clicking... It calculates the... rounds. Mm -hmm. Go all yeah. the way back. Not That's started. Good. That's actually kind of helpful for when I have things that last the next amount of turns. <laughs> Stop. No. No, but like, stop. I'm trying to figure something out. So, are you just clicking the arrow to go to the next person? Yeah. Well, I can click end turn. Or I can click the arrow. Aha. Uh -huh. You just kill Kuno. Oh no, nice. killing Kuno would have been if I pressed this. Nice. Wow. Oh, they turn red. That's lovely. Bye bye, Kuno. Kuno, more like gone. <laughs> Kuno, more like Kunyashi's dead. Kun well, Kun no longer. Oh, God. <laughs> so, even though I tried to be funny and make a joke, Fabian just slapped me across the face and said, You don't understand the mechanics to make jokes. So, yeah, Kuno unleashes a furious blows of kitten. Kicks. Aw, she's a monk! No wonder why she's so small and useless. Yeah, <laughs> as she's clinging to your forearm. Mm. Kill the pokes her belly. <laughs> you killed her. <laughs> <laughs> it does 42 damage. Why is everything I touch die? No, that's if Kella smiles at Kuno. True. Actually, I don't- that can't only do 40 damage. That can do a minimum of 100 damage. <laughs> but yeah, um... So you poke her belly? Mm. Uh, Kuno retaliates by nibbling on your arm. Kiala waves her arm around a little bit. Not, like, enough to make her fall off, but just to, like, wag her around in the air. <laughs> and Hela starts spinning. Like a helicopter. Yeah. Is this some form of training? Yeah. It's no, it's called training. being a parent, you bitch. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> is this something you learned at the academy? What are they teaching you? <laughs> <laughs> Not exactly. Ooh. Something I figured I'd try out. I, I don't understand. What is the point of this? Test your grip. Yeah. What the person in the peanut gallery said. <laughs> what the person in my mind said. <laughs> <laughs> And what does the onboard character say? <laughs> Do you not have small sorceresses living in your mind? <laughs> but yeah, she's just like, you know, improves grip strength, resistance to inertia. Where did you learn such things? I travel with a bunch of nerds. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, <laughs> she's just like... I joined this program called NASA. <laughs> Did you know there's space? 
The Earth is a it's, it's my lifelong goal, lifelong goal to set a foot on Ligma. <laughs> <laughs> One small step for Opus, one giant yeah. leap for Ligma's kind. Shell will, like, stop and lean her arm down to let Kuno off. If you're worried about the development of her grip, we can start her to hold swords. I started you when you were young. Oh yeah, about that. <laughs> I was like, well, hopefully she won't need to be a warrior anytime soon. Though speaking of that, there was that thing I needed to discuss with you and the rest of the clan. Notice Johnny is kind of looking around a little bit. Where, where is your headmaster? It's the points thing. with the pile of snow off in the background. I assume I, I, I picture it that you point at it with the Kuno arm. <laughs> <laughs> and Johnny looks over at it. Ah, this must be some kind of environmental training. He is a very brilliant man. I think he just doesn't fit inside. Nonsense. There are plenty of igloos that could fit him. Clearly, it must be some kind of wilderness survival training. They do teach you survival training at the academy. Right? That is all they teach us, yes. Exactly. How lucky are you, my daughter, to learn from such a... What's the word I want? Such an experienced man. Well, he's not exactly the one running the classes, but I see what you mean. To do with Kuno? Send her off to play. Or to her wet nurse. Go on, one year old. Go find your wet nurse. She can hop oh, around. Spin faster. <laughs> I know, but it's just the idea of telling a one year old go on, go find the tea to drink from. It's just such a I mean, weird... You gotta teach some independence at some point. Yeah. Shaylin! Oh, independently find the person you depended on. <laughs> Woo! That's why you have to give them the tasks that they can actually handle. Okay, I'm going to leave you at Kmart, and you come find me. Hooray! Oh, did your parents do that too? <laughs> Alright, you know, I you have to go out and there. pick up some milk and cigarettes. <laughs> <laughs> some milk and hash. But yeah, Kuno has like people she stays with when Jadia is busy. So then Jadia will tell Kuno to go find them. And you will just see the little onesie baby puttering off in the snow. Her legs too short to manage the snow properly so about every third step she falls over face first and then starts giggling with her face buried in the snow woo building that muscle strength go and then just Jadia starts walking off to deal with her leadership duties waving for you to follow her yeah, yellow will follow. And as you pass Boris, you just hear. <laughs> deep within the snowbed. <laughs> so, speak freely. 
are there not others who should hear this? You want me to call an, a clan meeting? Try whatever Doesn't they called. What the hell are they called? Probably just clan meeting is fine. Yeah. They may have some word for it in old language that they use, but the I don't know. The are the tribes. They're uncivilized, that's right. <laughs> you want me to rustle up the gang? <laughs> Tell me the deeds first, and I'll decide if it's worth it. But yeah, Kjell's gonna be would like... You, would you like for me to at everyone? <laughs> <laughs> uh, just at here. <laughs> Uh, no need to bother the people who are offline. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, what y'all actually says is... At mods. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much. At, at moderators. At moderator, at admin. At that weird old lady that we keep around for some reason. <laughs> oh a really old tabaxi that at this point in her life just kind of sits in a chair and just makes weird like screeching noises because she's just mentally <laughs> gone mentally dissolved her fur, her fur is she all... agrees with me <laughs> her fur... that's what that meant her fur is all like wiry and patchy <laughs> She got rabies! Anyway. Mm. Kella, uh, what the Kella actually said, though. Yeah, she's like, this is the kind of decision that would impact everyone of fighting age. Jetty kind of, like, stops for a second and looks at you. What are you getting at? Call the meeting and I'll go over as much as I can. Alright. If you say so, I will respect your choices. After all, I can't remain leader forever. I suppose it's better to let you start feeling capable of doing it. And it's going to take some time to assemble everyone, so anything you want you want to do in the meantime, or should we go visit Samson and Nim? Uh, Hyala probably just helps rally everyone together, and we can cut to the other. We can cut to Samson getting blown up by Nim. Oh boy, <laughs> actual <laughs> combat! <laughs> so, to Zanzibar's tower we go. Oh, I hate that creep. What will happen? <laughs> he can't pan. Wasn't well, that just because you don't have the button for it? I guess. Cause it's just right click, and you said you can't right click because you like right clicks. Correct, which pan. means I can't pan. <laughs> the reason behind not being able to pan. Yeah. Is. But if your right mouse foundry didn't break your right click. Yeah, but like foundry also doesn't let me change that option. So. I, cause roll 20, I can pan just fine because it lets you change the setting for movement and stuff. But it's, it's super locked. Anyways, blow up Simpson. <laughs> What did I do? You like flickered out for a second. I know not why. I'm gonna click this and I fear for what it's going to do. 
kicks no, everybody no. in. Flash of blue. Of course it did. Oh dear. Let me in. It's back. Let me in. There we go. Maybe. 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 There it is. Neat. I will be here but muted while I go eat food. Okay, I hope it's tasty. Just looking at the controls real quick, but the listed controls for panning don't work. It's a Jade specific problem. No, I mean like the listed controls for me don't work. Right clicking is not even listed. Oh, core mouse controls. Anyway, um, what the everybody doing? Samsung? Freezing. Uh, Shailon? Hold on, everybody. Ugh. Sorry. So, since oh, we like, love. Is so, since we... Oh, you're not even in the Roll20 yet. Uh, the Foundry, Ed. Uh, yeah. I tried something and it, uh, closed a bunch of tabs. Oh, no. Well, I'll wait for you to get back. There you go. And you can move your tokens wherever the hoozles. I was just putting them inside the tower. I'm back. Ah! <laughs> so is it like nighttime, morning time, what time? Uh, yeah, it could be. Morning. I figured out how to how to move how to pan with the keyboard. How? For some reason, you have to hold control and use the arrow keys. Yeah. Jade, this is a issue. <laughs> certainly, that's why I was looking at the controls, because there should have been a keyboard redundant binding. And there is. Uh, so unfortunately that doesn't work either, because that is the command to switch desktop on my oh. computer, and that overrides anything in Foundry. Uh, yeah, I, like, I've been having the same issue, because trying it with WAS or NumPad has opened and closed tabs. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... And you don't have a numpad. You don't have a... She doesn't have anything. Let this be a list. I have a WASD. I can make y'all a spin. <laughs> That's all I need. Yeah, that shit's funny. <laughs> So, what time is it? Um, I don't know. What? Well, we last left off with you guys outside 
asking Zanzibar a hundred million questions about what the staff was, and that's where that left off. So, how did you spend the rest of that day before going to bed? We don't have to add it to that. I'm just asking for what you guys wanted to end up having had done with that time. Follow Samson. You just followed me around all day? Yes. Okay, what did Samson uh, do? Um. Samson probably, like. Yeah, he probably did some, like, basic maintenance on his weapons. You know, clean his guns, see if his, like, uh, knives are sharpened. I, I assume that it, whenever he pulled out anything Adam-related, Nidden jumped away like a frightened cat. Not jumped away, because those are quick movements, and Nim is not known for those. But yes, Nim did back up. Um, did you eat Din Din? And who actually fell asleep? Of course we would have eaten Din Din and not Samson. You so Samson now has exhaustion level 2. Bingo. If you actually sleep, that erases it, right? Or does it just get rid of one level? I would have to double check that. Which I can do in Foundry, because it comes with the rule. <gasps> I'm guessing under the compendium? Yes. Finishing a long rest reduces a creature's exhaustion level by one, provided the creature has also ingested some food and drink. Yes. Also, being raised from the dead reduces a creature's exhaustion by one level. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean... Come yeah. back okay. You would think eternal rest would leave you with no exhaustion, but I guess not. No, it's, it's, like, it's cause, like, bringing someone back from the dead really fucks them up. And also that means you can only be revived five times within the same combat. Also, just remember, since not sleeping has become... Uh, something common. that, yeah, common. You do have to track exhaustion levels specifically related to not eating separately, because the... I thought not eat. I thought not eating just sets you automatically to do, and go from there. Yeah, it starts at two and goes from there, but like all of the levels you gained from starving yourself will be erased by your next meal. Because, you know, you could be starving, and then you eat food, you are no longer starving. But also, we never don't eat. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But in case that starts becoming a normality, or a commonplace thing, just want you guys to make sure you understand that the rules are actually in your favor, and not against you. What? Because that sleep exhaustion is absolutely against you. You could not sleep for three days. That doesn't mean you need to sleep for three days to no longer be exhausted. But in D&D &D standards, it absolutely does mean that. For some reason. 